Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to go about creating this beautiful triangle garland. Now you can use whichever yarn and hook size that you're most comfortable with. I'll be using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook and we're going to start our triangle by making a slip knot. Now chain two, one, two. Now insert your hook inside the first chain. Hook it to the yarn and pull up a loop. Now we have two loops on our hook. We're going to make a single crochet. So yarn over your hook and pull the yarn through the two loops on the hook. Now chain one and turn your work. Now in this single crochet that we would have worked, so here, we're going to work three single crochets inside it. So insert your hook and pull up a loop with two loops on the hook we're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops that's one single crochet we'll be doing three in total so insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops insert my hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops. So now I have three single crochets, chain one and turn your work. And I'm going to do one single crochet atop each of the single crochets that I would have done in the previous row. So one single crochet here. In the next stitch, I'm gonna do one single crochet and in the stitch beside that, I'm going to do one single crochet. And then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now this is where we start creating the triangle or the pattern to make that triangular shape. Now in our first stitch, I'm going to complete two single crochets. So one, and in the same stitch, so this is two. And in the middle stitch, I'm just going to create one single crochet. And in the stitch at the end, create two single crochets. So one and two. So that's the first row where we place two single crochets in our first and last stitches. Now for our next row, we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and we're going to complete one single crochet atop each stitch. So one single crochet here, one single crochet here, one single crochet here, one here, and one in our final stitch. Now chain one, turn your work, and in this row, in our first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So one, two, one single crochet in each of the following stitches except the last. So one single crochet here, one single crochet here, and one single crochet here. And in the last stitch, we're going to complete two single crochets. 
So to expand or triangle, we do two single crochets in the first stitch and two single crochets in the last stitch. And in the next row, we chain one, turn or work, and then complete one single crochet in each stitch. So one, 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 and in the last stitch we do one single crochet. So it's a two row repeat where in the first row we start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch, two single crochets in the last stitch, and then in the next row we do one single crochet on each stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do that once more. Chain one, turn your work. In the first stitch complete two single crochets. So one in that same stitch. Two, and then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch except our last. One, one here, one here, one here, one here, and in the last stitch, do two single crochets. So one, two, then we chain one, turn or work, and then we're going to do one single crochet atop each stitch. So I'm going to do that one last time. You chain one, turn your work, two single crochets inside the first stitch. So we have one, two, and then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch except the last. And in the final stitch, complete two single crochets. So one, two, now chain one, turn your work, and do one single crochet in each stitch going across the row. And you can already see the triangular shape coming to life here. Now you can go ahead and repeat the pattern until your triangle is as large as you'd like it to be. Now once you've gotten to your desired length for your triangle, you can just go ahead and make the loop from your last stitch much larger. And then we're going to cut or yarn and pull it all the way through. Now taking a crochet needle, you can just go ahead and insert your yarn. And then we're just going to weave it in the stitches here at the back.
and then you can just go ahead and cut the excess yarn and we're going to do the same with this tail to the top of our triangle Now I've gone ahead and created multiple triangles using the same number of rows. So they're about the same size. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and make the garland using the triangles. Now using a lighter colored yarn, I'm going to start by making about 30 chains. So yarn over and pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull the yarn through. This will form the end of our garland, so you can make this as large as you'd like it to be. I'm going to go ahead and make 30 chains in total. Now once you've created your desired length, you can go ahead and take your first triangle and we're going to be doing slip stitches going all the way across. So insert your hook into the first stitch at the bottom pull through a loop and then pull that loop through the first loop on our hook for our first slip stitch and we're just going to do that in each stitch going across so again insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop pull it through the loop that would have already been on the hook And in the last stitch, now to connect our ends, go ahead and take the next triangle and insert your hook into the first stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull up a loop and complete the slip stitch. And we're going to do that in each stitch going across. So same as we did here. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, and complete a slip stitch. And we're going to do that again in each stitch going across. And then the last stitch you can take another triangle and just complete it in the same way that we've done before so once we've gotten to our last stitch we insert our hook into the first stitch of the next triangle yarn over and pull up a loop and then complete the slip stitch so it's really easy doing our connections here So continue doing that until all your triangles are connected. Now once you've gotten to your last triangle, you can just go ahead and chain 30. So that's similar to this end where you have this piece here to hang the garland. You'll have that same look on this end as well. Now once you've done all your chains, you can just go ahead and pull it through and cut your yarn, pulling it all the way through. And that's pretty much it. So this is the final look. 
If you found this tutorial helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!